to you to, for today is the secret of shred. Yes, not what I just played, but the secret of shred. And it's really not much of a secret at all. So if you enjoy hearing people play fast things or playing fast things yourself, or if you're just trying to get to where you can play the more um, shreddy stuff, I'm not talking about arpeggios or anything like that. I'm talking about strictly just the shred. The real fast picking stuff. So the trick is honestly very very simple on how to get fast and you'll, you've heard it probably a million times and you'll hear it forever. And the trick to play fast is to play slow. Very slow. So um, I would normally start out, I'm going to have a couple different examples for you. Um, start off on just one string and get to where you can play something rather quickly on it. And I'm not going to give you like ten examples, I'm going to give you three, so they're going to kind of jump around a little bit. But you want to start out simple. And the first one that I ever learned, and I, I had this lick in a, another video called a neoclassical one, is, is this lick. Okay, it's in the style of Ingve Malmsteen. Um, at the time that I learned it, I had no clue who Ingve even was. But, this lick really helped me, and I remember my, um, my guitar teacher showing it to me, and I loved it, because it uses all your fingers. So this first one is, we're just going to do it on the G, this is the same place that I learned the lick on. Okay, and what we're doing is we're doing 5 on the G, 8 on the G, 7 on the G, back to 8. So that's the first part, and you do each of these four times. Now the next part, you shift down a position. We're working out of um, be diminished. Okay, so the next one you're going to do is four on the G to seven to five to seven. So you can already see the pattern that we're doing. That's the first one, and again, everything is about how fast you play it. You want to play it slow. Play it at a tempo that you can play really consistently. Now we're going because you don't want to be picking twice as many notes as what your hand is playing. You want to have real synced up picking. Because trust me, I promise it will not affect your ability to. to if you if you like that sound, I personally don't like that sound. I like real um. Like synced up left, real like uh, synced up or syncopated, I guess is what it would be called, um, left and right hand stuff. So that's the first one. Now the second one we have is also going to play a lot into the third example. It's going to be this one. Okay, so this one it's just this rotating pattern, and I'm using a C major scale. Um, or it could be A minor. And what I'm doing is I'm going on the B string, I'm doing 8, 10, 12. 8, 10, 12 on the high E. Okay? And then I shift up and I do 13, 12, 10 on the high E. 13, 12, 10 on the B. And I start the lick over. Once again, I can't say it enough. It's got to be played slow. You want each note. To be played nice and clean. Because I would rather you play it at that tempo. Than try playing it at. And that's what it turns out sounding like. Because that's not what you want. You want it real clean and precise. Because when I think of Shred, I think of people like Paul Gilbert. 
uh, Nuno Betancourt did all kinds of shreddy stuff, you know, and then like you hear them and they're just like completely in sync with themselves. So then the next one that we're going to have, those first two really haven't been that difficult, is the first kind of um, three note per string run that I ever learned. And it was from a uh, Guitar Technique magazine. It's the first time I ever even heard of Paul Gilbert. And I still do this one all the time today. It's just th the best picking exercise in the world. It's just this. <laughs> So it's just like that second one, but much more expanded. So we're still we're doing that um, A minor, C major, whichever one you're um, planning on playing this over. There you go, cleaner than what I just played. <laughs> but um, so I'm starting on seven on the low E. In case you don't know your A minor scale, we're gonna do seven, eight, ten. Same on the A string. Uh, seven, nine, ten on the D and G. On the B, we're going to do 8, 10, 12. 8, 10, 12 on the high E. So there's a familiar pattern for you. Now we're going to shift up again, and we're going to do 13, 12, 10 on the high E and B. Still in that familiar territory. And now we're going to go to the G, 12, 10, 9. Same on the D. And we're doing 12, 10, 8 on the B, I mean on the A string. And then same thing on the A, uh, low E string. Whoa. But yes. And I believe when I learned this one, I actually learned it as a hammer on pull off. Which is funny because people associate Paul Gilbert with um, all of his picking stuff, but he has a really killer legato. But that's another one. And this one might take a little bit more work. But I guarantee you, you'll see like amazing results if you take your time with any of these licks. So, so then the last one that I kind of have for you is kind of just like this last one, but we're moving it up a position. We're going to be doing it out of E minor. Because one of the hardest things for me was, for some reason, playing on the higher strings and the higher frets. So we're going to do that same scale um, shape, but we're now we're doing E minor. Okay, so now we're doing 14, 15, 17 on the low E. Same on the A string. Okay, now on the D string we're going to do 14, 16, 17. Same on the G. Now on the B string, we're doing 15, 17, 19. Same on the high E. And then on the high E string, we're going to do 20, 19, 17. Now we're descending. 20, 17, 19, I mean 20, 19, 17 again. On to the G, we're doing 19, 17, 16. Same on the D. Now on the A string, we're doing 19, 17, 15. Same on the low E. And all of these you should be cycling and definitely playing with the metronome. Start as slow as 60 beats a minute and go all the way up to 200 if you can. I'm, I can't play that fast, but... And you should always watch your um, right hand. You want to be playing very relaxed. If your hand is really stiffening up and you're finding yourself using a lot more of your arm and you normally pick with your wrist, um, that means you're just going a little bit too fast. So maybe just slow down a tiny bit. So, Because watch as I try to play too fast, you can really watch how my hand stiffens up. And I start getting sloppy. And that's I, I know that that's just not a speed... I need to be playing that lick at. So then maybe you think you can throw in some hammer ons and pull up. So I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. Um, I'll put tabs in the ones that I feel like need tabs. The, the first two probably uh, won't have any tabs in them. But I hope that you enjoyed it. I will see you guys with the next video. Peace out. Rock on. Please subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.